Let, let's talk a little bit about your channel, man. You you have a video titled "Things You Should Know Before You Join a Gang." Oh yeah, that was one of my first videos. Yeah, I, like yeah. actually, you know, like my heart was to help people. The first maybe ten videos that I did, bro, it's all knowledge without breaking the code. You know, it breaks my heart to to say this, but like first off. Uh, you might look around and you got four or five friends and, and you go do a crime with them. Your rivals are not the main enemy. The main enemy is going to be your friends because those are the ones that could turn you in. Mm. Those I see me time and time again in everywhere. It doesn't matter where you're from. Friends are the first ones to flip. Mm. That's man. Say it again, homie. Straight up, yeah, my boy. Damn, damn. Yeah, all these guys, this is my homie for life, man. My homie for life. I never snitch on him. He never snitch on me. Ride or die, blah, blah, bloop, bloop. Yeah, if you're facing football numbers, the odds are that your homie's going to flip on you. Look, all that goes out the win once they put the L right there. Mm. Or oh, you're facing life. Mm. Now it's about you or him. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people just forget about the cold. A lot of people were really never there for the cold. And uh, that's the main thing that I always tell everyone. Just watch your back, bro. Don't do nothing stupid. Try to make something with your life. But if you're living that life, don't do nothing around anyone. Just do it on your own, you know? Mm -hmm. Straight up. The chances of you getting away by yourself are astronomically high compared to you being with someone else. Growing up in prison, bro, I guarantee you that if you ask, I would say 90 out of every 100 lifers, I guarantee you they want to come home. Mm. Mm. I'm not I'm not gonna speak for all of them, mm -hmm. no. but, but 90 out of every 100, they're going to want to come home, bro. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Listen so why to would you out there filming yourself doing crimes if there's people that want to come home? It legit breaks my heart, homie. Like, if there's one thing that fucks with me and keeps me up at night, it's the fact that we're killing each other like animals out in the street, dog. Black on black, black on Latino, Latino on Latino. You know what I'm saying? It's We're killing each... We're doing the job for the racist people and the cops. We're doing the job for them easy. They're just kicking up their feet, turning on world star hip-hop and just seeing how many niggas died in the street, you know what I'm saying, this past weekend. it's It, it really breaks my heart, dog. I'm not even going to lie. It's sad, bro, but you know what? Um, I still think, like, no matter what, I know it's, it's, it's violent right now, bro, but I still think it's getting better, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's not as bad as it was when, when I was a kid. I guarantee you that. No, you know? you're 100%. <laughs> and I didn't understand it when I was a kid. You know, maybe that's why it didn't hit me, but maybe I just need to stay off the news, man. I don't know. No, I mean, it's always good to be knowledgeable and, and know what's going on, bro, but if the worst they're doing is, is recording themselves while they're at somewhere else and nothing's happening. Mm. Well, I guess I like that gang banging more than when people would really go out there and take a life, bro. Yeah, you know what? I like, you know what? Actually, you made me feel better, homie. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's, that's very true, dog. Um, I have one more question for you, and then I want to give you a chance to promote everything you have going on. But um, let's let's go to fantasy fantasy world real quick, hypothetical world, and let's say that you, right now, you could talk to a fifth grade Juan, a fifth grade little cholo Juan who is just thinking about tipping his foot, flirting with the hood. He's looking at those dudes across the street; they look cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh man, I want to do that. If you could hypothetically talk to him today, what would you say to him? I would just say, um. Look, bro, I'm here from the future, and I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you to please think of everything you're gonna do. Think about it because you're gonna go through some stuff, bro. That's all I would say to him. Okay. That's just planting the little seed so when things are happening, he's gonna know like, damn, that one put on me, you know. Mm -hmm. And it actually happened to me, bro. There was multiple gang members. For different hoods that told me, hey, you're going to experience a lot of stuff because you're too involved. Mm. And as a kid, I, I didn't want to listen, you know? Mm. 
Damn. That's deep, man. A lot of the times we never listen until it's too late. Um, man, Juan, it's been a been a pleasure, homeboy. That shit flew by. Um, tell everybody where they can find you and what, what we can expect next, man. S-I-N dot F-O-R dot S-I-N. Shit for shit on Instagram. Total Juan, C-H-O-L-O-J-U-A-N on YouTube and or you can find me on Wicked Hand 182. That's my public account on Instagram. Uh, my plan is to just grow a platform to where I can help people. We can start some programs to where people help each other. Uh, I'm a funny guy, so you know my mission is to I make love you laugh, your vi- homie. I'm I, real talk, people. If you want to laugh, like he, he's not just about real shit. Like I know all we talked about was real shit tonight, but this motherfucker has some funny ass i'm gonna keep it real you have some funny ass videos dog i love them so you know that's my mission even when i don't that's feel dope. good bro like i i suffer so much in this life that i just want to see other people laugh you know yeah that's dope and I'm, gifted. I'm gifted so that's what i do bro so thank you for having me brother and i appreciate you man yeah i appreciate you so much homeboy just give me a little bit of peace a Steady job and some food to eat I had to rush out of my bed Cause I was late for work My motherfucking rent is due And my boss is a jerk Pencil pushing at the job An intermediate clerk My mama told me to go to school I'm going bananas berserk I work every day Don't know where the money goes My girl is big and pregnant Want me to paint her toes Only a high school diploma I'm smelling the aroma The greenery is burning in my room but life is a mama seat. She glad to meet ya. She back coming soon. <laughs> Better get the broom, my nigga. You clean up your house. She got a little more time to back out, cause she ain't your spouse. But do I love her? I need her. Maybe respect how I treat her. But when I see my baby, I'ma wanna go and feed her. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. Just give me a little bit of peace. Steady job is some food to eat. I was born in a space and time where people were stupid. Everybody looking for love, fucking with Cupid. Who did whatever they wanted to do with black fist up? Stand to opposition, keeping Hennessy in a cup. Drink, nigga, tell me what you think about God. The Bible is written by man, so people think of a side.